Hey guys, Ben here. Welcome to the video. Today we're talking about focus stacking the extension used for Luminar Neo. Now this is an extension which has been out for about two months now. I've used it a lot in some of my work. I'm a product photographer, so it's come in real handy. I'm going to be sharing with you in the video today exactly what focus stacking is. So if you don't know what it is, you'll learn in the video. But I don't want to talk too much more. I want to show you how this works, who it's for, and if it's any good. So let's jump right into it and get started. So I know some of you watching this video may not know how focus stacking works. The good news is I'm going to show you very quickly how focus stacking works and how you can do it. So here we are in my studio and I've just set up these three cans to demonstrate what happens. The can at the front is further forward than the two cans at the back. So if I focus on that can at the front, it's going to mean the can at the back, as you can see here, is blurred and out of focus. So what do I do? Well, I want to get all of the cans in focus, so I'm going to have to take more than one photo. I'm going to focus on the can at the front and take one picture, and then I'm going to adjust my focus, as you can see me doing right now, until I get the green indicator on the can at the back. That means now that I'm going to take a photo of that can at the back in focus. This gives me two images, one with the can at the front in focus, one with the can at the back in focus, as you can see right now. So. This is focus stacking. You are taking more than one photo at different focus points throughout your image so that you can take these images and blend them together in focus stacking software, just like we're going to see now in the video. Okay, so now you should actually have a basic understanding of how focus stacking works. So what we're gonna do now is jump straight into the software so you can have a look at how it actually works in the software, which is Luminar Neo, and also where you're gonna find this. So first off, to find it, really easy. Right up on the top right-hand side here, you've got this jigsaw piece, and it will either say extras or extensions. Click on this, and when you've clicked on it, it's gonna open up the extensions available to you. You can see I already have the extensions installed, so, Focus stacking is already on my Luminar Neo. If you want to actually save some money on focus stacking though, what you can do is jump into the description of the video. There is a link there, click on that link and you can use that to go and save yourself some money on this software or on the extensions. So now that's out of the way, let's jump in to the focus stacking and see how it works. So these are the photos from the work that I was doing. You can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photos in total. So we're gonna be stacking eight images. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is. On the right hand side, you can see here, I've got focus stacking. So when you've actually downloaded this extension, it's gonna show up here. And this is in the catalog section of Luminar Neo. So I'm gonna click on my first image and then shift click on my last image and it's gonna highlight all of my images right here. All you have to do now is you have to drag them into the extension and as you can see, it's just gonna let them load in right there. Now they load in pretty much straight away. So you can see that if we just click on this arrow at the side, I've got all of my images here loaded in. So this is an eight image stack. Now of course you can do up to a hundred images on a stack inside this extension. I can't imagine a case that you'll ever need to do more than a hundred, but you've got up to a hundred. And if you're doing things like macro photography, then you're probably going to need up to about 50 or 60 maybe. So you've got this high number, which is going to give you that security when you're looking to focus stack a lot of images. Now, you've got this option below which says stack. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and click this right away and it would stack the images for me. But you might've seen this little cog at the top here. 
and you probably know that that's settings. So let's click into the settings before we actually do this stack. You can see you've got a few things here. You've got auto alignment. Now you want to make sure that that is ticked. If you don't do this, I promise you, you're gonna have issues and it won't actually auto align quite correctly. So make sure that is ticked before you go ahead and stack your images. Then next, click this here, which is chromatic aberration reduction. This just gets rid of the kind of weird purple and green fringes that you can get along the edges of your photo sometimes. So that takes care of that as well. When you've done that, you've got those both clicked. Just go click that off. And now what we can do is go ahead and press stack. Now this usually takes anywhere from about 10 seconds through to about a minute, a minute and a half, depending on how much data and how many images you're actually stacking. So this is definitely dependent upon the amount of data and the amount of work you're putting your computer through. So it's been about 15 seconds for this to stack. So eight images stacked in 15 seconds. Now I have quite a powerful laptop. I've got a Dell XPS 15 inch, which has actually got a powerful processor. And, you know, if you've got something that's a little bit less powerful, then maybe you might have to wait a little bit longer. So perhaps it's worth bearing that in mind if you're thinking about loading times. So we've got a stacked image now, and you might have noticed that you can't actually see the stacked image in your catalog section. That's because it actually goes somewhere else. If we go to focus stacking on the left hand side here, this is where your stacked images end up. So don't get worried if you stacked an image and you're like, where the hell's that gone? It's actually in the focus stacking section here. So let's click on that. So let's have a look at how it's performed. So if we just click in here. I focused twice on each one of these cans. That's how we've got eight images. So I've focused in the middle and on the edge. That's to ensure that I've got a really nice, a really nice in sharp area on each one of the cans. So straight away to me, it looks really nice and in focus, but let's have a look a little bit closer. So if I zoom in here, I can see that the front of the can is nice and sharp and in focus and the same with the side of the can here. If I go over to the next can, I can see that we've got the same result lovely sharp in focus in the middle and on the edge so with eight images it's done a great job and 15 seconds is not really long to wait now i'm very much aware that when you're focus stacking you can have a big variety in the amount of images that you're actually stacking i said earlier that macro photography usually involves a lot of photos so expect a bit of a delay, obviously, with the loading time, you could be going to a minute and a half, even maybe up to two minutes when you're stacking more images together. So who is it for? We know that it's good, it works well, but who is it for? Well, it's only gonna be for people which are focus stacking. If you're not someone that's gonna be using this for focus stacking, then you should probably not get it unless you're interested in the other extensions as well. So it's going to be for macro photographers, people that like landscape photography, and also people that are using it for product and still life photography as well. This is going to be really beneficial for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Now, remember, if you want to get this at a bit of a discount, you should check out the link in the description. That's going to give you a bit of a saving if you're looking to get these extensions for your Luminar Neo software. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. This has been a bit of a quick one today, but I just wanted to review this in case you're interested in it. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.